of the most common questions I get asked, especially by people who are looking to get into the hobby of RC flying, is how much did that cost? How much, you know, was that airplane? And sometimes when I answer that, they can be surprised either one or two ways. It's either going to be way more than they ever thought, or in this case, it's going to be way less. Now, what I have here is what I consider to be my swap meet special, all right? This plane, all ready to go as it sits right here, right now, cost me a total of $35. That's right, I went to a swap meet, picked it up for $35 on the auction, and it came with basically everything but the radio. It came with the engine, the servos, even the receiver, and everything was ready to go and installed. Now, it might not be the prettiest airplane in the world, but for 35 bucks, you really can't go wrong, or can we? So what we're gonna do today is break down this swap meet special, go over the ins and outs, go over what engine it's got, what servos it has, how much this stuff would have cost brand new, and you know, fire it up, take it for a test flight, and see if we got our money's worth on today's episode. So before we go ahead and get into all of that, if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a ton. Like this video, and then comment down below what you would like to see next. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. So first things first, you'll notice that we have an engine sitting up front in this airplane. This is not an electric airplane. This is what we like to call a nitro-powered airplane. Now with the rise in popularity of electronics and electric airplanes in the last 10 years or so, it really has kind of phased out the want for a nitro-powered airplane. However, I still really enjoy them because of, you know, there's a little bit of a nostalgia factor to it and they're fun to fly and I think they sound really cool. So we have a fuel tank, we got a carburetor, we got a piston powered engine powering this entire airplane. Like I said, this all came with it for 35 bucks ready to go. Now the plane itself is what we like to consider a stick airplane. It's a boxy fuselage, it's a simple symmetrical airfoil. Overall construction is fairly simple. Your stabilizers are pretty you know, flat. There's not really an airfoil to them at all. Um, and typically they are a kit build airplane. Now I asked the, the previous owner if they you know, remember what kit it was. They really didn't say uh, what it was or where they got it from. They just remember that they've had it for quite a while. I even did some research, couldn't really find anything you know, that was leading to exactly what it was, but there are just a ton of these different kits out there. Uh, and they're all pretty much the same. Like I said, they all look the same. They all fly very similar. It just kind of depends on on the size and everything like that. But these make great secondary trainers or just sport flying planes. And that's kind of why I wanted to pick it up. I wanted to get back into the nitro powered airplanes. It was a good deal. I like the way these things fly. They're just good beat around airplanes. So I figured, you know, why not? Overall, like I said, the plane isn't the prettiest thing. I mean, the covering is peeling up in some places. It's been patched, there's been holes, there's uh, a little bit of grease in spots and things like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's still an airplane and it still goes together in one piece. Everything is still exactly the same from when I picked it up to the servos to the receiver that was in it to the engine. Everything stayed exactly the same from the previous owner. So starting at the front of the airplane, we have a Tower Hobbies Pro 46 two-stroke glow engine. So it's a 46 size motor from Tower Hobbies. I'm not exactly sure if they make these anymore, but kind of scouring around eBay, it looks like brand new in the box. These things are going for right around $120. So if this thing runs, we're already out of the gate ahead quite a bit of money. The carburetor looks clean. It overall looks like the engine was maintained pretty decent, has some pretty good compression in it uh, for a 46 size motor. Uh, the only thing I did do, I did swap out the glow plug right away just because I figured if it had been sitting for a while, it's probably gummed up. You should probably just swap it out anyway. So that is the only thing that I have changed on this airplane is just switching out the glow plug. Other than that, everything has stayed exactly the same. So taking a look at the inside of the plane, we see we got a couple things right here. So we got our battery, which is gonna provide power uh, to everything, the electronics and things like that. We got a switch to turn everything on. Uh, we got a servo for our throttle control. And then of course we have our receiver. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz receiver, uh, spectrum receiver, which I'm gonna be able to bind to my radio with no problem. Uh, so let's go over like the cost of the internal stuff here. So this battery, um, it, they really fluctuate. This JR1 specifically uh, looking to be around like $20 or so brand new. Uh, the high-tech HS55 servo. So this is a micro servo. You really don't need anything more to control the throttle. Uh, it's not a high strain um, movement or anything like that. 
These run anywhere from between 10 to $13, depending on where you get it from. So pretty cheap uh, little servos. They do a great job. And then our receiver here, so this is what tells everything what to do. And when your inputs from your radio goes to the airplane, this is what tells you know your servos to do what they need to do. So this guy is an AR500. And I was trying to look for an AR500, a lot of them popping up on eBay and stuff for sale. I don't believe they make this one specifically anymore. Maybe they do, um, but compared to like some of their newer ones that I think replaced it, are going under between 40 and $50 for a same, for a similar series receiver. So you can expect right around $40 brand new for a receiver like this. As for the rest of the airplane, we got four more servos. So we got a servo on each side of the wing here uh, that's actually tucked away all nice and neat on these little servo trays, which is kind of cool. And then we have a servo for our rudder and a servo for our elevator. So four more servos in total. Uh, looks like they're all uh, JR NES 517s. So those are about $20 a piece. So 20, 40, 60, $80 alone in just the servos that are in this thing. Um, so this stuff adding up pretty quick. I think we made out pretty good as long as everything checks out, as long as everything works, and especially if that engine can fire up and we can get this thing in the air. So what we're gonna do is just kind of do one more final look over to make sure everything's good. Uh, we're gonna charge this thing up a little bit and we're gonna try to get this engine started. So we got decent enough data to get out to the field and get this thing up in the air for the first time. So we got it all gassed up. We checked everything over. Everything checks out nice and neat. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this thing fired up, get the engine tuned out. It's super humid out today. So more than likely, especially cause it's been sitting for a while, gonna need to uh, tune the carburetor a little bit, get everything running good. And then uh, we'll get it up in the air. We actually got a camera on board the plane today. So we'll be able to get some in air shots. This will be super cool. Uh, first time trying this camera out. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, we're gonna get this thing fired up, tuned up and getting in the air. We got her fired up. Pretty sure she's tuned out. We'll see how she goes. We're gonna take it up for the first flight. Wish us luck for this $35 airplane. <laughs> so good need a little bit of trim here obviously probably the weight of the camera in the bag doesn't help that much <laughs> not bad though I mean first impressions flies like any other stick style airplanes fast very fast flies like it's on rails it's very smooth Obviously, again, the symmetrical airfoil helps with that. It's going to be, like I said, a great secondary trainer, intermediate plane, or like I said, good sport, just fun beat around plane, which is exactly what this is probably going to be. So you do some loops here, down and half human, roll out. Oh yeah, this thing, this thing moves. <laughs> Man, I miss nitro airplanes. There's just something about them. High speed pass here. Yeah, this thing's quick. This thing is very quick. I love it. Inverted flight. Solid. Do a little roll here. A little point roll. Absolutely. So, like I said, this plane, all said and done, was $35 plus a couple dollars for the glow plug, but I had the glow plug laying around. Who knows how old it actually was, but it was still new in the package, so. I mean, seems to be working just fine. And it honestly fired right up. We had to just get some gas in there and tune it out a little bit and she's ready to go. So 
I mean, for $35, receiver, servos, battery, engine, everything, you can't go wrong with a swap meet special for the most part. I mean, this thing is just proving that time and time again here. This thing is a freaking blast, man. <laughs> I love it. So whether or not you're looking to get into the hobby or if you're already in the hobby and you're just looking for something new to play around with, I would absolutely recommend going to your local swap meet. Go check out your local club. Go check out what events they got going on. If they got a swap meet or if there's a club maybe you know, a little while ways away from you and they're hosting a swap meet on the weekend, go check it out. Odds are you can get a great deal on stuff. And if it's not an entire airplane, it's a new motor or a new radio or, or something where they're just like, you know, I don't need this anymore. And they know how much it's worth. And honestly, they just, at the end of the day, want to get rid of it. They don't have space for it. They're done with it. And they want someone else to enjoy it. So that is nine times out of 10 what's going to happen. And like I said, this one was an auction. It was kind of the end of the day. The dude really didn't want to take it home. And he he's like, you know what? Just give me 35 bucks for it. We'll call her a day, and that's exactly what we did. And now we got a fantastic, fun, nitro-powered stick airplane that flies amazingly well. Quite the roll rate on here, holy sh... <laughs> holy cow. Do a couple more passes here. Like I said, it was a pretty big fuel tank on this thing, so... Definitely don't have to worry about flight time, which, like I said, I, I love electric airplanes. I really do. But the only, you know, couple minute flight time out of them, and then you have to, like, recharge for, like, half hour, 40 minutes, sometimes up to, like, an hour or more. I don't think, uh, at least in the next couple years or so, that that will surpass what gas airplanes and gas-powered engines will be able to do. So just be able to charge up the onboard battery overnight and be able to fly pretty much all day with a gallon of gas or so. Can't beat it. and bring this thing in for a landing. Slow her down a little bit. There we go. There you have it. $35 gas powered airplane. Absolutely awesome. Let's see if we can taxi back here. <laughs> $35 well spent, I would say. I think we came out ahead pretty well on this one. We've got a great flying airplane. The engine runs fantastic. Everything works properly. The plane probably could use a good uh, recover as, you know, I was wiping it down as things were flaking off and covering was peeling back a little bit. So I think that would be the only area of really kind of like investment in this airplane is to put some new covering on it. But at the end of the day for 35 bucks, not a bad deal whatsoever. So if you're looking to get something new to like just, you know, beat around with or just, you know, have fun with, go check out your local swap meets. Like I said, they got some fantastic stuff there. Like I said, people just want to get rid of it and they want to give it to a good home to someone who's going to use it and fly the airplane and keep it in the air. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you want more content like this or what specifically you guys want to see us do here next. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends if they're looking to get into the hobby of RC flying. I'm Alex. We'll see you in the next one.